Hi everyone, welcome to Doodle Days, episode three. Let's see, four? Yeah, no, we're on four. <laughs> Sorry, you took me a minute, guys. I'm again, in, again um, increasing my knowledge of my editing software and hopefully doing a little bit better each time. I'm learning a little bit more about it every time I do it. I am quite happy with the speeding of the videos up, so I'm probably going to stay with that aspect. And uh, thank you all for feedback. I really do appreciate it, whether you leave it in comments or personal messaging me. Either way, I do get them, and it may take me a little while to get back to you, but I do my best to get back as soon as I can. And if there are any questions, I really do try to get back really quick. Um, here I'm making just kind of like a star-like shape in here, and it is just a doodle tangle, uh, whatever you want to call it, sketch. I'm not a registered tangle person, uh, zen tangle person, nor do I kind of plan on doing that. I believe that sketching and your doodles should, you know, I just let them flow. I don't feel I need to take a class in it. Um, if I feel that I need to get better, I will try to improve the best I can on my own by practice, you know. Um, and I kind of just let things flow from my mind, what I think um, should go in there. Now, you, if you get stuck, you can always look online and Google ideas for tangles or kind of repetitive patterns, because that's all I really do is repetitive patterns. You can make your own. It's, it's a lot more simple than what you think. I know a lot of people look at it and become overwhelmed pretty quickly. Excuse me. But here I am going to draw an outline and as I go around I might stop and kind of do a corner as you see me doing right here. We're doing kind of like a um, just a little flower in the corner and I'm stippling the, the center of it. Mm -hmm. I did a border around this one because I noticed that you know when I'm doodling and I'm really kind of in the zone. I really don't pay much mind to see if the paper is shifted and then I end up drawing on the page underneath even if it is just a mix. I don't want to have to use like to scrape it off because the paper quality isn't always that great where you have the option of scraping it off of that and of just tearing the fiber of the paper. So I figured if I draw a border at least around this line and give it a shot, see how I like it. This way it actually frames the picture out and also it gives me some room around the edge so I'm not kind of going and drawing on the page beneath it or three pages or four however many I decide to pull up as I scrunch the paper with my hand as I'm holding it down not to um take a shift down when you are actually drawing and sketching. And um I think I do like it but I don't think I'll continue it um, for every drawing because some things I don't like having kind of contained. I want to have the natural feel of it being kind of more organic and not being kind of like boxed in or framed for you know, lack of better words. And here I'm adding a lot of leaves to it. Um, I do love drawing a lot of like botanical flowers, floral, you know, fauna on occasion. But when I'm doing tangles and whatnot, or just kind of repetitive process, leaves are really easy for me just to kind of throw in there and make them work. Um, they can actually change the dimension and the tone of the drawing because they give it more of a, I guess, a feminine maybe feel. And here I'm just kind of drawing just cross lines, you know, almost like cross hatching, but not completely just to give a little bit more depth to the paper and um, it's a different pattern, you know, it's something new and I like the texture of that it kind of implies almost like a burlap I would say which I think is pretty neat so it kind of reminds me of like at now with the flowers and the leaves and that like burlapiness it kind of reminds me for some reason I don't know why I'm thinking you know like bees in a beehives maybe it's just the intricate leaves the uh, way that they weave you know their homes in the honeycomb, but yeah, just doing more leaves. This is really um, quite a basic sketch for me, but it is one I really didn't have to think of too much. And I did do this sketch beforehand, like I do. Um, I like I said, I really do 
love the pencil sketching on some days where maybe I'm out and about or just need to kind of, you know, I'm not feeling too good to leave to bed to actually do any kind of filming or whatever. I can grab my sketchbook and, you know, my pencils and my pencils, whatnot, you know, all my, you know, sketching supplies, so to speak. Um, and just sit and doodle. And if I feel like doing two in one day, I could do two in one day. And then I can ink them up when I'm feeling better and have more time, maybe. Because sometimes, you know, you let the cleaning slide because you're out of craft and whatnot, or you're too busy with, you know, running around with the kids, or, you know, just what work or life in general. So when you do have the time to do a little bit, and have it ready to go for when you do want to ink. Because sometimes I just want to ink, and sometimes I just want to color. So having these already prepared on days where you feel okay, it just makes more sense to me. And you know, sometimes I want to draw and I'll sit there and do it for hours and maybe get one thing done. Other times I might sit and do it for hours and get two or three things done. It you know it really all depends, but it does actually save me time because I can't, I love scheduling myself, I love doing, keeping my planner and whatnot, but sometimes I can't keep up with the planner. I will have things planned out for the week and then things come up. I mean, everybody has it, but I mean, when the things come up, I kind of get down that I can't do the things I have planned out for me for the week, and then I start overwhelming myself trying to get everything done in one day. And I don't want to do that, so I'm trying, this is a good way for me to do that. For the days I am feeling good, I can just, you know, put that, I want to do sketching. If I get to sketching that day, great. If I don't, then I can move it off to another day. But if I can get, if I'm feeling better on that day, I can get three sketches. So I won't hold myself to the amount. It's just that sometime during that week, I want to do that. And I think that sometimes planning that way, actually is better if you're someone like me who really sees that list and is like starts getting um, agitated maybe that like okay this has got to get done because I don't want to have to do it later in the week type thing um yeah I'm trying to get over that and come to the conclusion that you know it is what it is it's going to be there whether I get it done today or not um I'm working on that nobody's perfect and by far, I'm um, I am up there. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So these are things I'm working on. If you guys have any um, pencil tips or tricks on that for me to help me convince my mind that it's all right, glad to hear them. And um, like I said, I love sharing my art with everybody and things that I'm doing and ways that I think. So let you know, you know, we're all human. Everybody's the same. You know, in the aspect that we all have our trials and tribulations, we have our strengths and our weaknesses. And if you think you can't do it like this, you can. It just takes practice and time, and you'll get there. And, um, everything in life you do can be, you know, that you want can be achieved. You just need to practice to get there. And if you have the drive and everything, you'll be able to get where you need to be. A little bit quicker because we'll work that out. And um, here I'm just putting little um, circles here, and filling them mostly and leaving like a little white spot for a highlight, and just for a little bit extra depth because I felt like it was lacking. Um, so we let's add a little bit something else to it. And at the end, I really don't care for it, but I do like it a little bit more than it just being, you know, the plain white before I did it. But it, it really isn't, this is definitely not my favorite work. If I would have stopped, like, okay, I could even deal with the circles if I just did it right here where I'm going up on this left side that it's going to. Once I finish that left side, if I stopped there and didn't add anything else, I think I would still be content with this. And I I'm going to say content, I'm happy. Because <laughs> um, it wouldn't be overdone. Here I'm adding, like, little switches coming up between them and well it is another you know added depth information I yeah I should have just left it alone but it's a 
okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. So it is what it is. And I didn't rip it out. I kept it and I plan on keeping it. So this is it, guys. Um, I'm going to do just a little bit more here. Nothing too big. Just some little bubbles here at the bottom. Um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying this Doodle Days series. If you are, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It means the world to me. Thank you all for spending some time with me today, and I hope to see you all very soon in the next one. If you want to follow me anywhere else, check out my About section. It has all my links. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.